WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a slightly mixed bag out there. That slightly mixed comes from the uh, uh, the uh, semis, which are basically flat. They're down just slightly. You've got the Dow up 78 points. The S&P's up 14. NASDAQ 142. Russell's up 13. Trainers are up 6. New York Stock Exchange up 61. Gold's up a buck. Silver's up a penny. Lights Recruit is back a buck 33. Print out of 8252. Natural gas up seven cents. 30 Treasury printed out 114.18. That's up 23 ticks. Let's figure out what that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. Friday's close above the high from April 24th has triggered an A to B equals CD pattern of the upside. And as long as price can close above the top of its daily profile, which is at 51.40, we shouldn't see a move to 51.87. That is especially true as long as spot volatility remains below its 50-day exponential moving average. It closed below it on Friday. We're trading below it right now, it being 15.18. The NQ did the same thing that the ES Mini did. It generated an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Its initial price projection, 17,990. The top of its daily profile, 18,089. I would say that is the price target between those two levels out there. U.S. dollar index is just consolidating with inside its daily profile out there. So not doing a whole lot. Really been trading sideways for a couple of weeks now. If we take a look at gold, it's been trading sideways for five days. It's trading with inside its bullish structured profile that formed on uh, Thursday of last week support between 23.17 and 23.43, resistance up at the 24.20 level. If we take a look at silver out here, also that same sideways move. Price trading with inside its daily profile, 27.22 is support, resistance up at 28.14. If we take a look at light speed crude, it's trading with inside its profile as well. It's got support between the 81.33 to 81.95 area, a resistance which is held and was tested both on Friday and this morning is up at 83.84. And if we take a look at natural gas, yeah, it's having a nice move, but it's just trading in a sideways consolidation pattern out there. Not really much more to talk about. And if we take a look at the 30-year Treasury, 30-year Treasury, I believe, let me see, did that close 113.10? It closed really right on it. So it still has a buy the D point pattern. Price right now just consolidating with inside that daily profile. Now, what we can see here is that the center of its profile, 114.26, is really acting as a key level resistance. So if price could close above 114.26. We ought to make that trip up to the 116.10 area, but not until then. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.